It is one of the premier lacrosse programs in the nation. Pat yourselves on the back, great job. And the reason is this rock solid constant. For 15 years, Diane Akins has been a coach to the very core, often willing Loyola to victory. She's a legend, you know. She's one of the best coaches, if not the best coach, that has ever coached the women's square lacrosse. You like crushing on a rebound. You gotta get in there. Who will ever forget the season when she was pregnant with her fourth child, coaching the number one team in the country? A chair on the sidelines couldn't contain her then. Today, she has no choice. Hey, good, bud. Hey. Good to see you. Want to bring the girls in? Oh, um, not yet. Okay. Coaching. It's not okay, what she good. does. Sure. It's who she is. The basics is what's going to win ball games. You know, I have one good leg. I have one bad leg. I have one good arm. I have one bad arm. I have, you know, I'm in the wheelchair, but cognitively, I'm still able to coach. That's how we're going to set the terms for the day. Steroids, chemotherapy, radiation. None of it could stop cancerous tumors from spreading. But even brain cancer can't stop Diane Akins, now partially paralyzed, from coaching. It's a tribute to her personality, her character. I mean, she's always taught us to be tough and to be fighters and, and to want to work hard. And she, look what she's doing to herself. Some people look at saying, gosh, you have a tumor. You're growing in your head since 1995. I've been dealing with this thing since 1995. I've had three full craniotomies. And uh, I still feel lucky. And how many people can say that? Lucky? How can she be lucky? You guys are going to do awesome. I'll share my wheelchair with you. <laughs> you can sit on my lap. This is supposed to be the prime of her life. She has four beautiful children. Her cancer, which she has battled valiantly for eight years, is now inoperable. Diane Akins knows she is going to die. I think there are a lot of people that, like, even at 9-11, that walked in those towers, and they didn't have that chance to say goodbye to their families. The back is together on three. One, Good job, guys. How many people would have wanted to have one second back? You know, and uh, I get to have that second every day. Every single one of you can catch and throw. Since she took over at Loyola, Diane Akins has done nothing but teach her players how to win. She's told me never to give up. Just to be a fighter, I mean, diet, she never gives up, and she just never looks at the bad point. She just keeps on fighting. You know, people need to live their life every day and enjoy it every day and don't take things for granted. And I think that's one of the messages I would like to get out there is that, you know, it could always be worse. There's always somebody that has it worse than you. Diane's unfettered courage in the face of adversity has inspired her players to the greatest regular season in Loyola history. Remember this feeling, and we want to have it another week or two from now, okay? Now the Greyhounds set their sights on their first ever national title. Wins or losses on the field, however, will not define their coach, not to those closest to her. She, she puts me in awe, and she inspires her mom and dad all the time. We're just, we just love her so much. Much better, you guys. Diane Akins is just 40, far too young to have to consider a legacy. I want them to remember me as a passionate coach. Live life to the fullest. And was a coach. See you later. Good job. Thanks. Bye, Dad. A coach Good to job. the core. Some things are so deep. Yeah. Keep up those academics. Nothing can touch them. I'll kick your butt. <laughs> and some messages are so powerful, they endure forever. She teaches us how to be great lacrosse players and great teammates, but above all, she teaches us to be great people.